Hey there, Jaguars. I'm Rohan Ned Carney. And I'm Mark Wiener. And this edition of The Recap starts now. now. Mark. I'm just trying to grab a piece of your heart. Or you could just watch the upcoming drama play, A Piece of My Heart. I'll do that. The Coral Glades Drama Department is getting ready for their second big production of the year titled A Piece of My Heart. Just like the last show, this one will consist of mainly female lead roles. I'm assistant director. A Piece of My Heart is about six women who went to Vietnam, five nurses and a country western singer. And it shows their journey before, during, and after the war and torn jungle. And we practice every day till six because our play is in such a short time. So. The cast has been rehearsing just about every day after school for the past couple of weeks. Along with memorizing lines, there will be a musical number by Bridget Knight, who has been working very hard to perfect her guitar and vocal skills. I play a character named Mary Jo, she's a country western singer who goes over to Vietnam to entertain the troops. Um, I'm really excited because it's my first lead role and I'm just excited to work with this great group of girls who are so unbelievably talented. The production will take place at Coral Springs High School. There will be four shows between Thursday, January 27th and Saturday, January 29th. Tickets will be on pre-sale for $7 and $10 at the door. From WJAG, I'm Brian Shapiro. What is your problem, Rohan? I got swag, Mark. Do you? No, I don't have swag. But you know what does have Jag swag? The walls. All year, administration has been pushing the idea of Jag swag. Jag swag. In a recent attempt to raise school spirit, five signs were painted overnight on Building 3 asking students if they got swag. Student reaction to this has been pretty one-sided. I don't like it. Mr. Roberson interprets these signs a bit differently. True, the school itself doesn't have swag, but the individuals that are here at the school that make up Coral Glades have swag, and they need to now blossom, have that come out of them, so that we can uh, take this off the campus and throughout the county. No matter what students think of them, it seems these signs are here to stay. This is Connor Dunn for WJAG. Hey, Mark, what's up? Hey, Mark, what's up with you? Ask me about Mark Wiener! Rohan, that's not funny. There's a new question mark, though. Check it out. I don't want to make you look any stupider, so actually, yes, I do. Who did Time Magazine just name Person of the Year? Uh, Bill Clinton. Barack Obama. Uh, Drew Reese. I have no idea. Who is the new Speaker of the House? Nancy Pelosi. The Nancy Pelosi. The new speaker. Of the I house. don't know who the new speaker is. LeBron James. No idea. You know what the speaker of the house does? Speak for the house? What house? The White House. The White House. What the hell is that? What bill did President Obama sign while on vacation in Hawaii? Don't do drugs. <laughs> don't ask, don't tell. In what country were there miners stuck underground for a month? No idea. Tallahassee. Jamaica. What is the only U.S. state that begins with the letter P? Pensacola. Providence, Rhode Island. Pensacola. Philadelphia. And how many amendments are there in the Bill of Rights? Uh, 18. 157. 10. 27. 27. 30. What is the capital of Florida? Tampa. Year <laughs> What is the name of this show? Mark Wiener takes over the world? Uh, the re restart. Some the restart, yes. The Wildcat. Morning announcements. <laughs> no, the, the, no, no. The, the recast? Replay? <laughs> w. I don't know. The question mark. <laughs> the question mark. Nothing else? That's about the, it. The main show. The whole show. 
The best show. The best show. I don't know. I don't go to the school. Security! So you know, Mark, in this fall, I'm going to be taking my talents to Evanston, but I'm not really sure how I'm going to eat. Like, should I cook what my mom wants me to cook? Should I cook what my friends want me to cook? They're my friends. Should I cook? Ron, Ron, Ron. This isn't the decision. You're not in a Nike commercial, and you're not LeBron James. If you need to learn how to cook, ask Chef Bob. Yet again, our culinary students wow us with their amazing talent, and it's no wonder because they have a chef with 25 years of experience leading them. Yeah, yeah. I, started, I started cooking in Virginia as a breakfast cook, then I moved down to Florida, where I worked at the Boca Raton Hotel and Club. I worked at other restaurants here in Coral Springs and in Boca. Um, I went to work in the British West Indies for a year, where I took on the job as chef of uh, the Portofino restaurant at the, uh, what the heck was it called, the Ramada Turquoise Reef Resort and Casino on the island of Providencialis. Then I came back to Florida, worked a couple years more here in various hotels. Then I went to Belize, where I took on a contract with Ramada Caribbean, where I worked as executive chef at the newest hotel in Belize, which was the Ramada Royal Reef Resort and Casino. Then I transferred over to the Radisson over there, the Radisson Fort George Hotel and Marina, where I worked for six years as executive chef. Then I opened up my own restaurant in Belize, Bob's Long Grill, which was rated, by the way, number one by Berlitz and uh, uh, Fromers. Fromers. And, uh, I ran that restaurant for six years while teaching also at the University of Belize, teaching restaurant management. And uh, then I sold the restaurant to come back here to fulfill my lifelong ambition to be a, become a social studies teacher, One. which I did. From hors d'oeuvres to full course meals, Chef Bob has taught them all and has even inspired some students to pursue a career in the culinary arts. I would like to open my own restaurant. Um, no, first no, in America, no. then in Jamaica. It's going to be a Jamaican, so it's Jamaican, Mexican kind of a thing, or Jamaican Spanish whichever I can go. Um, that's basically it. Um, guys, guys. I'm not going to be a pastry chef. Like, I'm not going to have any bacon or anything oh, in it. It's just going to be like, I'm going to have desserts oh, and stuff, and it's like a comfort feeling kind of a restaurant. Like, not like a TGIF or like a McDonald's, but like kind of in between where it's like comfort -y kind of. It's a good program. Like, chef is like, he's wonderful. Um, we do a lot of cooking, like as you move up in levels, you do a lot of cooking, so you kind of learn stuff that you never really knew how to do. Like I learned to make big ziti, brownies, like a lot of stuff. Um, and I guess like in order for you to actually get experience, you can't only be in the class, but you have to also go on the events, like the field trips, because you do a lot of stuff on the events. So yeah, it just helps me. But even in the kitchen, Chef Bob still manages to have fun with his students. I'm Josh Kahn for WJAG. So, Mark, this one time at band camp, right? I was with the saxophone player. No, 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 Rohan, not again. I've heard it way too many times. My cousin's still in the hospital. It's been six years. Oh, please, just don't tell the story again. The beginning of the new year starts the new winter season for the Coral Blades Percussion. The new percussion is basically an ensemble in the music program where we take people from throughout the program, and it's audition-based. They come out, they audition, uh, everybody that makes it gets to perform obviously and what it is is it's kind of like uh, the marching season but what we're doing is it, it, we're taking out all of the winds and we're, it's just percussion it's just you know the the pit you would see dorm, normally marching season with all the, the keyboards and all the other little uh, little instruments and then we have the battery in the back which is also it's called the drum line where we're getting really really close to the competition season uh, we got about three weeks to go, and we're, we're getting ready. Well, uh, this is my sixth year of indoor, because uh, I started in seventh grade. Uh, I'm a senior, and I'm captain, and we practice every Tuesday and Thursday, and it's a lot better than marching band. It's a lot more fun for us, because we get to perform for like an audience that's like right there, like five feet from us. So that's, that's why it's better. This year, Percussion will be performing a call to arms for competition. You can preview the shows here at Coral Glades January 28th. Come out and support our Jags. With WJG, I'm Brooke Savage. So, Rohan, what time's the Dolphin game this weekend? Oh, they didn't really make the playoffs this year, so they're not playing this weekend. But um, how about we watch the Giants game together, Mark? They didn't make the playoffs either. But a couple other teams did. Oh, so let's, I guess we can watch this package on the NFL playoffs. Yeah. As the NFL playoffs begin, the fans share mixed views on the possible outcome. 
we are students who they are rooting for or against. And I think we're going all the way, 14-2, you know, we're going to take it, you feel me, cuz? I would like the Jets to go to the Super Bowl. I literally want any team except the Jets or the Patriots to win the Super Bowl. I don't even care who wins, as long as it's not the Jets or the Patriots. Even the faculty members got involved in the playoff smack talk. I think it's pretty obvious what team I'll be rooting for uh, this weekend, so... Uh, I'm, I'm taking the J-E-T-S, Jets, Jets, Jets. That's my pick. Uh, uh, unfortunately, uh, Mrs. Sadie might disagree with me. Okay, I would say I like Baltimore or Kansas City. I like the underdogs. Uh, Tom Brady, who should win the Super Bowl? Oh, uh, the New England Patriots! I am definitely, definitely rooting against the Jets and the Patriots. Yay. You all need to know that. I am a Jets and Patriots Hater. J E T S, Jets, 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 Jets. Now, I would put in the second word, but uh, I can't say no. that word. I can't say that word. I do not want to see the Jets in the Super Bowl. Uh, J E T S, Jets, uh, Super Bowl bound. The playoffs continue this weekend, and soon we'll really see which team comes out on top. For WJAG, this is Rochelle Oline. A new football coach has joined the Jaguar family this past week. Yes, does. All right, and that's my goal is to get a stronger in this time that we have over the next couple of months to get ready for spring practice. Coach Mathis came from J.P. Taravella. Oh, uh, he's, a, he's a good coach. I mean, That's old 12, I good. played with him before because I was at Taravella. Coach Mathis has a good reputation for keeping a team well-disciplined and hardworking. I want them to understand that they can talk to me about anything. You know, I, I'll be the first to, you know, scold them when they do bad, but I'll also be the first one over there to give them a big hug when they do really good. While some students are hesitant about the switch, others welcome him with open arms. At the meeting, this coach sounded really enthusiastic, like he knew what he was talking about, and he said that he came to this school to do what's never been done. So I'm excited. I think he's going to do great. Coral Glades looks forward to a successful upcoming football season. Good luck, Jags. With WJAG, I'm Caroline Kaplan. Mark, what are you doing? You look ridiculous. What? My TV midterms are coming up. I got to get in the zone, you know, practice. All right, well, if you need some help preparing for your midterms, maybe you should check out this story. After just getting back from winter break, the students are immediately jumping into preparation for the midterms. Teachers have been rigorously reviewing to prepare students as students have been cramming in and stressing. People have been, like, handing out reviews and uh, telling us what to go over, so I've been, like, cramming ahead of time and so that I'm not stressed out exam week and uh, kind of going over everything that I learned in the beginning of the year because it's a lot of information. For many juniors, midterm week is even more stressful this year as they also have SATs to study for that Saturday. Um, I'm really nervous about the midterm week because I have to take five midterms because I'm in AP classes and I'm going to be studying basically every single day and the week before and I'm probably going to be stressing out a lot. Whatever your study methods are, keep up the hard work and good luck on the SATs and midterms. With WJAG, I'm Joey Schott. So Rohan, that was a really good first time anchoring the recap. Oh, thank you very much, Mark. You know, I think I had fun. It was something I'd do again. Yeah. All right. Well, that's all we have for today, Jaguars. Anything you'd like to add, Rohan? Stay classy, Coral Glades.